Hi guys, and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. Obviously, we're not in World Painter at the minute, we're actually in Just Cause 3, and there's a reason for that, because I'm planning on doing like a Mediterranean coast in this episode. It's going to be quite a long episode. Um, but what I wanted to kind of show you guys is the kind of terrain that we're going to be trying to make and trying to recreate, so it's quite cliffy. So we've got quite white cliffs, we've got some gravelly bits, and we've got some, you know, like other grassy bits as well, but most of the stuff we're going to be doing today is more stuff like down here. There we go. So if I actually go up there, there we go. So we're going to get some some more like little beaches and things like that. Uh, we're also going to be doing some cliffs with some um, obviously with some you know white white kind of well it's going to be like white cliffs um, and stuff like that. And we're just going to try and make a pretty cool coastline. Uh, we won't be doing any of the underwater stuff, but I've got a pretty good idea of what we want to do. So guys, let's jump into World Painter, and um, yeah, we're going to get started on it. Okay, so here we are in Minecraft. I'm actually using the Conquest uh, Reforged mod, because I'm going to be making making mine uh, actually a, a kind of like modded thingy. Um, well, a modded map uh, for World Painter. Uh, the actual area I'm kind of talking about, whoa, that was weird, is down here. So... Down in the south, we've got all the kind of like hot area here where we got like Spanish stuff. I think I might even move Spanish over to this area. Um, obviously, on this map, we've got a couple mountains in this bit. I'm still going to try and stay true to that and have some mountainous areas, but they're not going to be super mountains. It's not going to be like uh, what I'm going to have over here, and especially not like where we get the big river type mountains over here. Those are going to be uh, a true mountain range. This is going to be more cliffs and stuff like that. So, uh, as you kind of saw on the. Uh, and actually, I can bring it up. There you go. Uh, as you can kind of see from some of the screenshots that I got, um, so I've just gone into Steam, grabbed a load of screenshots before jumping onto this bit. Um, we've got a couple of materials to actually pick. Um, the main thing is this white rock that we get. Let's get a better picture. There we go. So, so we've got some right, white rock. Um, what I usually do, or what I've had to, had a look at, is for Conquest Mob, we've got this un uncut marble, and we've got diorite, and we just pretty much, if we're mixing this together, we can then kind of get a feel for it, I guess. Um, it's always a difficult thing to do. I sometimes do stuff like this, where you get like weird um, things. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, just like little little bits and bobs like that, so you kind of get an idea of it. Uh, so I'm thinking about these two just as a main material. I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, Nick Goss always tells me, and that's Serenity Capuchin, he always tells me off for, for doing it. So I've got Uncut Marble and we've got Diorite. So those are two materials. One of the things that I like to do, and it's really easy, is to grab up Notepad plus plus or something like that. My god, what is that? Oh, I remember what it is now. Um, and actually go in, even Notepad++ plus plus or Word, to be honest. Actually, Word Word's a lot better, isn't it? Let's grab Word. There you go. Word. Okay, so with Word, we're going to do Mediterranean uh, cliffs, and we're going to have a material for that, which is... Uh, what the hell? That's weird. Ignore that. I can't spell Mediterranean for one. Well, why don't you tell me how to spell it then? <laughs> this is me getting med. I can't remember. God damn it! It's been a very long day at work. Go away. Right, Mediterranean. I'm gonna just put that into Google, and then it'll tell me what it actually. Wow, that's even broken. I think my internet connection has actually died. Yeah, it has. My internet connection has randomly died. Excellent. That'll be why. Um. Anyway, Mediterranean cliffs. Don't know why my internet's died. It's now back, so that's good, isn't it? Right, Mediterranean. How do I actually spell it? First thing, spelling with Daka. It's still dead. Right, Mediterranean cliffs. We've got diorite, and that is one colon three. Um, if you guys do, I think it's F three and F. No, F three and T. Uh, does something else. Don't do that. It's F three and H. I think it is. Yeah, that's it. F three and H. Right. If we take off F three. So if you press F3 and H, normally you would, guys would have this, where you just have the names of blocks. If you do F3 and H, this does advanced tooltips, and then when you hover over it, you get like uh, one, and then it's slash three, that means one colon three, or the third metadata of that. Um, so for mod blocks, this is really useful, so it's 4178. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go uncut marble. One, four... What was it? Like four one, four one seven eight. I think it was, wasn't it? Four one seven eight. Yeah. Um, it's probably useful to actually put the name of it as well. Uh, so this is just for the cliff part of it. 
still can't... Why can't I think about what that's, that's actually spelt like? Um, but I think... Now this happens all the time with Conquest mod. And I don't know why. It's so damn annoying. There we go. They're back. <laughs> so damn annoying. But there we go. These two are going to be our base for that bit of it. Uh, if we have a look again at these pictures. So we've got that. We've got some gravel as well. Um, so we're going to have a look at the gravels. Um, I... Oh, it's a shame actually that... Shame. Should we have some coarse dirt in there as well? As well as the gravel? Oh, that's that's not right. That's definitely not right. That's not coarse dirt. I wonder if they've got proper dirt. So, basically what we're looking for is just different types. Like a dirt gravel. So we'll have some dirt gravel as well. Different types of, of blocks that would go together. I kind of like that dirt gravel. I don't know if it'll work in this. I think it might need to be... Yeah, I've got a feeling it's going to need to be more like dirt gravel can be in the grass layer. So I'm not even going to use dirt gravel with that. But I will use the other type of gravel that we've got, which is small stone. Stones, apparently. Okay. So I'm going to use those two for my gravelly bits. Uh, which is, again, let's have a look. Seven, uh, 13 and 4474. Look how I haven't uh, spelt it yet. <laughs> I will change it. So this is more like... Uh, terrain types I guess uh, that we're doing right gravel and small stones is what it's called which was seven four four seven four whoa I actually remembered it for once four four seven four right so we've got those ones there uh, so that's going to be a gravel layer Put those down there and we're also going to have some dirt and that's going to be the dirt gravel which I really like uh, some grass which is just normal obviously and some do you want some normal dirt as well I might even just go over those two. Let's have a look at all those pictures again. So, if we've got some other pictures, it's more... Uh, yeah, I think dirt grab one and grass, that's it. Like, make it really rocky. Um, I think that's going to be it. And those those are going to be our, our simple layers. And obviously, we've got sand. Um, sand is, is 12, so sand is nice and easy. So, what's this dirt gravel? This dirt gravel is 4364. There we go. Four, four, six, four, and grass, which is two. Uh, so I'm just going to fix this. And typically, I will keep this document up to date. Um, so if I ever need to rebrush anything or do anything at all, I've got that. So I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that on my other screen where you you guys can't actually see it. And I'm also going to come off this. So now, if we go into uh, everything here, right? So first things first. More than I think this is the little area that I'm thinking of again because of the the other stuff around here. So, what we've got to do is have a look at it. That's It's pretty important, to be honest, to have a look at it, because you can kind of go a little bit nuts and kind of get it, not get it wrong. I wouldn't say get it wrong, because that's kind of, it's difficult to get something wrong. Right, let's just cancel this. Um, but you could outscale things, so you can make like these crazy, really tall cliffs that are like a thousand blocks high or something. Well, you can't make a thousand blocks, but 200 blocks high, and then it looks stupid. Um, so scaling everything is really, really important. So what we're going to do is going to have a look at the actual land that we've got, and all I'm going to do... There we go, where are we? See, this is weird, it's weird when it's like you can't see anything. I'm just going to do this area here. So we've got like the coastline going in and, and around as well. Okay, um, everything else is just fine, I think. Pretty sure it is. So fly, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, that's fine. Right, so if we just export that, that's a load of fancy stuff. And we'll, while it's doing that, we're going to have a look... So I'm going to try and make some beaches, and I don't know where I'm going to put these beaches yet. We'll find out. Um, but I definitely want these kind of like almost blobby cliffs, aren't they? Where they've had like rainfall come down at some point. And these beaches definitely, and we can get into some coral. I think that'll be another episode for coral type stuff and underwater stuff. So there we go, that's done. Um, now where did that export to? Out of interest, I think it didn't export into... That's D Minecraft. Okay, I'm just going to move this over. So, da, 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 da. I will pull it up on this screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, because I've got the Conquest mod as a different install, uh, I've kind of got to go into here. Uh, find Yarrowin. Yeah, I did call it Yarrowin dev before, it doesn't matter. Conk instances, reforged Minecraft saves, and jump in there. Um, you probably won't have to do that if, you've just, if you're just doing it for default Minecraft. Now, if you have a look at that, there we go, it's in there. I'll load this up and have a quick look. Um, I'm going to grab 
I'll cancel that. I'm going to grab this up on my other screen so I know kind of where I am. Right, so first things first, we're at this peak. So this is the edge. So I think this, where I'm thinking about beaches, and this is where it's quite important. Let me go a bit faster. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. There should be an in-cut in the land around here. There we go, there's the in-cut. So that is quite big. <laughs> that really is quite big. That's kind of cool. So if we have a look at this, from that bit to there is quite big. Um, now what else have we got? We should have another cut. So we need to do some proper cliffs, I think. Let's have a look at the layer the levels. So we've got this kind of like uh, slopey bits. So we're going to do some cliffs going up to it. But in terms of a beach, it wouldn't be too bad, uh, really. We could just do with cutting back a good 20 odd blocks or so. But what I want the... Because this is, because this is going to get overridden, it doesn't really matter where we do it. How big I want the cliffs. Look at that over there. That's horrible. Probably to start around here. That'll be the low level cliffs. So that'll be the first level. And that is... See how I'm doing it? Uh, that is, what is it, 48 blocks high. That gives you a really good idea. So if we go back and we pull up World Paint... Why is that not deloading? There we go. Pull it up again. Gonna do, um, well, we're gonna go straight onto the cliff part of it. We're gonna get that kind of like base layer done. So we're gonna do outer above one. Uh, the reason being that if we do go and, and cut down into it, we don't wanna go any lower than one. And we're gonna do 48. So that's that's as high as it'll go. Uh, and that'll give us some very, very straight lines. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is gonna go on to the raise or lower terrain brush. So you notice that we haven't even used those colors yet. It's just a nice, nice thing to kind of start with. And I'm going to have a look. What have we got? Brushes, hills, mound. You guys should all have these now. Mountain terraced. That one might be interesting, actually. Mountain terraced. Uh, I'm going to go with mountain terraced free. And I'm going to whack the intensity up just to 75%. And I'm just going to go right in the middle because, of course, we want some stuff. And I'm just going to push around now. Now, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to take up too much of these little in cuts. So what I'm doing, there we go, let's see. Let's just move in these up, and there we go, that's maxed out at, at 48 now. And we're just pushing forwards a little bit, pushing forwards. Um, and I think, where would a beach be? Where would a good beach be? I think this would this would definitely be like a headland type thing, it would not have a beach on it. This has got to be like really, really kind of steep. And I'm making the brush smaller, because uh, then it makes these like terraced bits a little bit smaller as well so we just focus on this area tell you what we'll focus on this area first get it looking good so I have like little bits of beach obviously because it's I mean even if we have a look at these pictures um, it's weird so look even around here like we get these little bits of sand and stuff so even the sheer sheer cliff would have been worn down by the waves so so we've got to think about that. there you go like that is there any more no I think I'm actually gonna go back to that one that I got earlier what was it? That one there's quite good, I think. So we'll use that one for a reference later. Right, so um build up this here. Probably there we go. Just do a bigger brush in the middle. It's fine. Okay, and then we want this in cut to be like pretty cut. And we'll actually cut that all the way back really. Um almost like this is its own little separate island, isn't it? It could actually be. Its own separate island. We could actually completely separate it. That might be interesting as well. We'll have a look at how it how it looks. And we'll see. Right, this I want it to be a little bit less steep, so I don't want cliffs on this bit. So it's almost because that this bit here is kind of like um, a bit safer. Same with here as well. We might actually have some uh, cliffs on this side, and then the beach can be around here, which it, it currently is anyway. But I think that would be really cool to actually do that. So I'll have some like stuff around here, and again go into the middle. Whack that brush up and just bring that along to straighten it out. There you go. Get something like this. Where we've got really strong kind of plateau. I mean, we'll cut into this as well later on. Right. So this bit here. So we can cut down that as well. There you go. It's nice and rough. I'm going to have like a bit of a bit that jars out maybe in here. A bit more rockiness. Oh, right, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got a bit softer there, a bit softer on that bit, but this bit here is quite harsh. So let's go for the mountain one. I love this 
Where is it? Where's the matte one? This one here, number seven. I absolutely love on on the custom brushes. Um, I absolutely love this one. Uh, let me kind of rotate it. If you hold down the Alt key and rotate your mouse, I found out what this arrow means. It's because it used to rotate that image. It doesn't anymore to make it a bit quicker. But if we do this, so the, the spiky bits down here. That's where we're we're currently looking. And I'm just going to do it around. Whoops, wrong way. Wrong way. Why am I doing it the wrong way? Oh, it's because I'm holding down Alt. Sorry. Oops. There you go. So I'm going to do stuff like that. And then around here as well. Whoops. Did it again. God damn it. Right, now I'm going to just do like some really pointy stuff here. There we go. So it's really angry. <laughs> there we go. And I'm also going to put in like little bits of, you know, like it's, it's, it's almost like a broken kind of land type thing. There we go. All right. Okay. So if we now just do, um, and this is this is where you start wiping out your any anything you do. I'm just going to reset my terrain to default, uh, so that will just reset where the sand layers are. And this is why it's kind of it's difficult in World Painter because if you do start resetting stuff to default, just like on a mass scale, because I'm doing the entire map right now, um, it can be a bit of a pain. And at the same time, uh, it's kind of. I don't know, it, it's kind of a good idea because then you just you do everything without having to do it by hand you don't miss anything, but it means you have to paint it there we go so we get stuff like this, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to our terrain over on this side uh, oops, I double clicked that I did not mean to do that, can I toggle floating, there you go, that's good that's good that they added that button in, thank god uh, we're going to go down here, there's a load of different um, types that are already set up it's like rock, a mix of uh, stone cobblestone, you get diorite as well. So if you're just doing like the white cliffs, diorite would work totally. Um, but we're going to do add a new custom terrain. I'm going to do create custom material. I'm going to call this Mediterranean uh, cliffs. So we're going to use what we had before. Um, I still haven't spelled that right. I'll, I'll fix that in a bit. But I am going to use, color wise, I'm going to use a grey type color. Maybe like that, or actually no, I'm going to go with white because it is white cliffs that we're going for. Um, then you get block ID here, but I'm going to go into complex and we're going to not use this one, but we're going to grab those different things. So we had one column free as the first bit, so one, and the data value was free, so that's diorite. Um, oops, press enter as well, helps. And then we're going to add a material, and this time that's going to be from reading my other screen, four one seven eight. Well, I got to 417, that's pretty close, isn't it? 4178, and it doesn't have that. Why doesn't it have that? That's annoying. Hmm. Interesting. Why does it not know that? I'll find out. Give me a sec, guys. Okay, so digging around, I've found the... Um, basically, on, on the Conquest Reforged mod page, they've got a pretty good uh, 1.10 well painted, well not really well painted, it's just got a block ID, so uncut marble, which is like they had written down the name, it's actually got a block of 301, so not 4000 odd, so it's pretty cool, uh, a little bit easier. So we're going to try that anyway, so that, that sounds a lot more reasonable than the 4000, I don't know why it's done that, it's weird isn't it? Alright, anyway, let's go for, what was it, 301? 301, I wonder if we can just type this in, nope, there you go, 301. So we've got that, no data value and occurrence. We don't want it as 50%. Look at this. This is this is a complete mess. Uh, we probably want blobs. Uh, we probably want a scale of not 50. No, we don't. We want a scale of like 200 blobs. So we want them to kind of be block, blocked together. It doesn't make much sense to have it completely random. And in terms of the kind of like scale, I guess, uh, in, in percent, that's weird, isn't it? I would have thought that this was like, I don't know, 50 and this was like 50, but... Something like that, I don't know. Um, I, I actually want more stone, so I'm going to go for probably, uh, probably 75 compared to 25. Something like that. That was good. And we'll try that anyway. So we're just going to do OK. And it'll give you this nice custom material tab down here. So as long as you call them cool things, it's fine. And if we click on that, we now can grab any sort of brush, really. I'm going to grab this one. And... I'm going to do at or above, um, probably want, 
Ooh, Atrobar above 31. It doesn't really matter, actually. Um, yeah, we will do Atrobar above 31. We will do a minimum. And we're going to have uh, above 45 degrees. We're going to try out 70 degrees, so it's quite heavy. And then if we just paint it... Oops, that's not right. And that should actually paint it. Ah, okay. Good draw. What's that do now? I spray. Oh, there you go. Spray. Sorry, spray guys. I think it's changed since I last used it. And I'll roll a row of 31. There we go. So if we do this, that will now go into there. So 70 is too too high. So if you go on the spray can, <laughs> click on your material. We've got above 70 degrees, which is crazy, and at or above uh, 31. So this is not doing much. Okay, we're not getting too much on that. So I think we're going on to 60. There we go. That's better. That's now giving us some more rockage. But still not that much. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to fifty, for example. That's better. So this fifty should be should be it, I think. So we just go for this bit around here. So this obviously isn't cliffy enough. And we got a little bit in there that's cliffy enough. So what we'll do is we will test out we're just gonna test out this tiny little area here because we've only really worked on this so if we explore this new Minecraft map, blah 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 blah. Uh select tiles, wait, just go back here. Um how can we clear the tiles again? Click selection. Yeah, there we go. Click first. And then we go down to here. We're just going to grab this little bit here. Do okay. I'm going to select. This time I'm going to select my Minecraft. Uh, the other folder that I've got. So my mod folder. So the Conquest mod. Conquest mod. Instances. Conquest mod. Reforge. Minecraft. Save. Zero in. And open. And then export. This will at least be a lot quicker. Hopefully. Should be. So what we're really looking for, there we go, that's good. What we're really looking for is, uh, well, what does it look like? Is it cliffy enough? And it's probably not. One thing I've learned is that it's never cliffy enough. So. First things first, this does not look anything like it. Well, that's not worked. Let's have a look. Why didn't that work? Let's have a look. Export. Export a new Minecraft map. What did I put it into? Saves, Yarrowin, Yarrowin. Ah, right, okay, I see. You don't need to call it that, you just need the name there. Right. <laughs> Let's try that again. This time, I think I've got it right. <laughs> I could have just moved it. All I've bloody done is sound really stupid. Look, this is what I did. Inside inside the Minecraft saves, there's Yarrowin, then there was Yarrowin, I think. Duh. Uh, okay, this should now work. Let's have a look. Have a look at this. Right, so we're now on top of cliffs. There, that's a bit better. So first things first, let's have a look at the mix. It looks okay. It looks very basic as our as our actual cliffs. So we've got a wall there. Uh, I don't mind these too much. These these are okay. Um, not too clean on. I'm not too clean. Not too uh, not too keen on the grass stuff. So that looks quite cool. I kind of like this though, this this kind of like, uh, it's not too heavy, but I think we could do with more cliffs like that. Probably another one jutting out here and then we can have like more gradual stuff. We almost need to cut into this and really make it a bit more random, don't we? But I do like the main cliff, so that's what that's done. Um, and again, by doing it like with these different sizes, you can then do another layer behind that. Um, obviously you don't want to have it all completely flat, it's just that, you know, that's where our starting point. So let's get back to it go back onto the raise terrain type thing um, we're going to remember that so we've got for the cliffs brush um, got uh, and I'll put in the settings here I'm actually going to do it let's do some shared screen type stuff there we go so what we've got is at or above 31 and above 70 degrees I don't think we did that in the end did we we did above 60 or something didn't we on a spray can, I go above 50 degrees, right, okay. What you do is you start creating like a tab. You could even do this as like, uh, you know, where you got your materials and stuff. It's completely up to you, really. So, we want to make these more cliffy. Now that we've got that painted, that looks cool. We want to make it more cliffy, though. So, let's go for, uh, grabbing that again, we're going to go for custom brushes. We might even try a different one out. Mountain range, we probably don't want that. Mountain terrace was quite cool. 
Uh, but I don't know if it really worked. So we're going to go for... Yeah, we're going to go for mountain range. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And if we have a look at this, that seems to have a sticky outy bit here. So I'm actually going to try that. Um, and that's out or above. Right, needs turn of off out or above. Uh, one out or below 48 for that cliff. I'm just going to use alt to turn it a little bit. And I'm gonna, just going to bring that in there. So that should... It is kind of pulling it in a bit. So what we want is, I just want to do something like here. Ah, uh, what the hell? That's that's weird. I uh, rather one. Didn't do it. That's why I wasn't pulling out. That's annoying. So there we go. So we get this little bit in here. That's a little bit sheltered. Got a little one here. I'm going to kind of bring these in. So I'm just going to bring this in like this. Let's bring that there. And I'm going to do a bigger one over here. Like that. That's going to come out a little bit more. Okay. If I grab a custom uh, material again. And again, this is out above everywhere else. That's better. So get more of a sprinkle on this then. Okay. So next we're going to do another custom material. We're going to do... Well, this, this one is actually pretty easy. Because it's not really just for Mediterranean uh, gravel. It's more just like gravel. Uh, it's just a gravel mix. Um, if you guys are in, oops, didn't mean to do that. If you, if, oh yeah, if you want to change these at any time, right click on them and do edit custom material. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, if you guys are doing the default stuff, definitely use an andesite. Andesite, if you're using default texture pack, looks absolutely awesome with gravel. I, I absolutely love it. I, I wish Conquest had one that's as good as well. Um, so I'm going to go on complex and 13. Now I need to find small stones. Okay, it's not there. So it's not on geology. What's it on then? Uh, natural? Ground? Probably ground. Actually, I just saw ground. Just thinking, duh. Uh, okay. Small stone. Small. Okay, small stones. Uh, so that's one, zero, seven, eight. So I'm going to update my, my kind of thing over here. Zero, seven, eight. Um, go back into World Painter. So this is how you can do it with mods. It's quite, it's not bad at all, really, is it? Uh, one zero seven eight. There we go. And occurrence, I don't know. Do you want this blobbed or not? I think I do want it blobbed. Um, micro, more smaller blobs, maybe fifty. Fifty blobs. Yeah, we'll have fifty blobs. Uh, we'll have it kind of even, ish. Um, I might, I might even put in some rock in this and just see what it looks like. Just normal, normal bog standard stone. But the occurrence is going to be down to like 10% of it. There you go, like that. And we just do okay on that. So what we're going to do now is we had before. Okay, here we go. Let's grab this over. Ooh, where are we? That's what painter. So what we had before is we've got at or above 31 and above for 50 degrees. So we're going to have at or above probably, what's this down here? Uh, about 30? It's yeah, so a height of 30. Yeah, so we're going to have at or above 30. So it doesn't really matter where it is. But, 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 right, with this one, above um, 30, so it's one one lower. Um, we're also going to have, uh, da, 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 above, oh, yeah, actually, this is where, this is where I've got the order wrong. <laughs> Just realised. At above 30 degrees. Um, it's a shame we can't have at, like, above and below. But what we'll be doing now, right, and this is why I write down the stuff so we got above. So I'm just going to write this down. Because I know I'll forget. You start getting orders of how you do do things, right? So this will currently, if I paint it, will wipe out a lot of the cliffs. But you can see where else it goes. So yeah, if we just do this for now. So it goes a lot of places because it's a lot more because it's gravel. And then what we do is we click on this one. We grab what we had here, which was above 50 degrees and 31. See what I mean? Right, and now we're going to paint over that. And I'll have the white coming through. Right, so we'll have a look at what this looks like. There, right. If we go for this, we go to export again. So you have to kind of layer it. Um, layer it from down the bottom first. And I'll show you what this actually does. So because we've got a lower lower level... Um, yeah, it's fine. Because we've got a lower level... 
what we'll end up doing is we're like painting this bit and then we're putting this on top because this is steeper. It would have put anything that's above this would have gone uh, steep. Well, I'll put it up to there and it goes up to a certain level. Um, thank you very much. So what we should get now is a really cool thing. Hopefully, 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 we'll get. Okay, so that looks rubbish. There we go. So we start getting some gravel mixed in as well. And especially with this type of stuff, it looks really cool. Oh, okay. Ah, that's what I meant by small stones. So I put in a snow layer by accident. Let me amend that quickly. So if we go onto that layer, right click, edit custom material, uh, small stones. So do we actually not want small stones? What do we want then? Conquest Gravel 1. There we go. 5, 5, there we go. So small stones and small stones. God damn it. Why can you... Oh yeah, it does say snow layer. Duh. 597. Right, so update my document to have 597. I'm going to have to put a dash in here. Sometimes it's not as good to have this type of document. Um, but then if you have a if you have a Word document, you can always you know sort stuff out otherwise. But look at, look at how weird this has got. Just like put them underneath and it's in these weird floaty things as well. Really odd. Right, let's go back. Go back onto World Painter. Do OK. Don't need to repaint anything. From what I remember, don't need to repaint. I hope. And <laughs> we'll find out if we need to repaint, actually. I, I can't remember. I, I think I used to repaint just in case. Because uh, I was really worried that it wouldn't work. But I think with custom materials, it just kind of... It does it in the rendering part of it. I, I can't remember. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, this is a long video as well. Sorry, guys. This is such a long video. Um... But hopefully it's in-depth enough on one certain tiny, tiny little thing. Right, so what have we got? Has that fixed it? That's not fixed it. Okay, so we need to repaint. I'll show you how to repaint really easily. Um, one thing we can actually do is we can do a global operation. And we can fill with terrain type. And if we scroll down, we should see... Where's our gravel? We should have gravel. Is there no custom ones anymore? It used to be... There we go, that is gravel. So, fill terrain type with gravel, but only on... It's going to be really weird, right? Only on terrain, custom, gravel. <laughs> so we're saying replace gravel with gravel. Let me just say go. <laughs> I know it sounds really strange, but hopefully this should work. Uh, if it doesn't, you can also do that by painting. It's just that it's kind of easier to do it this way, I guess, because that would... Again, global operations, you'll be able to get everything. Right, so, okay. There. Now, we'll export. Export, yes. Going on this. Hopefully. Okay, hopefully this would have worked. Really hope it does. Okay. Well, looking at the map, it looks really cool on the map. And for some reason, it has not worked. That's very odd. I wonder why. So this, edit. It's because I haven't changed the damn thing. Oh my god. You've just watched Daka be a t complete and utter idiot. <laughs> five, five, what was it? Five, nine, seven, right. There you go. Five, nine, seven, right. Let's test this yet again. Sorry, guys, I'm being a complete noob today. <laughs> I think it's because I'm using, like, um, mod blocks. It's the first time I've actually put mod blocks into um, World Painter, so... I'm still not used to uh, <laughs> being sensible with them, I guess. I've used, like, metadata, obviously, before, but not over this. So let's see if this actually just works, if it just paints it and you don't have to do a global operation. To be honest, it's useful to, to know anyway, right? No? Maybe? There we go, that's better. So what we've got now is we've got kind of we've got the little bits of grass. Um, we've got obviously we've got the gravelly bits. This I think it's horrible. That that is so horrible. This bit right here, the square. How the hell have I done that? Um, but other stuff that looks quite good is like this. This looks pretty good. I haven't got any slabs in it. We don't need any at the minute. Got random bits of uh, other stuff here. This is really cliffy, which is kind of nice. Um, I kind of want or wanted more gravel in here, and I probably would by hand. Go in and just mix in some gravel. But you kind of get this this idea now. Because we've, we haven't gone all the way to the edge, you get this like gravel at the bottom as if it's like been broken down over time. 
Um, and actually, I quite like that there's random stone in it. I think that actually looks good. Uh, so that, to me, looks cool. That is very, very straight there. So whatever brush I use for this, I think this is what I, when I had it, uh, it wouldn't go above things. So that I need to fix. That's horrible. And I think this is where it's really difficult to try and figure out where it is. So there's the little rock. And then we get this bit here. So I, th oh, I can see it on the map. So what I can do is I can actually see it right there. Um, you can also, of course, do view and show, do, show 3D view. Um, and that will not show you very much detail. <laughs> That that blob there is is what we've got. This this big problem here is that blob. Um, so let me. So uh, out above, yeah, out above thirty one, out out below. That we're just gonna cut that down a little bit, and then we can do the whole graveling over it again, or we can completely smooth it, or we can push it out, or something. I don't know. Don't know what's the best thing to do. Oh, out above one. Sorry, did the exact same thing again. So I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit. I think that and I'll repaint that as well right so that gives you guys a kind of idea of the first bit of like I'm gonna call these Mediterranean cliffs uh, we are gonna do the grass bits now but um, obviously that's that's the main cliff part okay um, as you can see it's a lot of testing to do it because it will always look a bit different and I like, gotta love the naturally spawning world of Minecraft on the side um, but to be honest that doesn't look too bad you know, it's not super white like I was expecting it to be, but that's absolutely fine. Um, the other thing I'm not too sure about is these blobs. These blobs are absolutely huge. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks fine for like stuff like this, where you get like marble, then like you get the veins going through it. But actually, I don't really like that too much. So I'm going to go on to edit custom material. Blob scale, I'm going to go down to 100 then. Because obviously 200 is, is quite a lot. Um, with the gravel, how does the blobs look on the gravel? Absolutely fine. I think gravel looks... Completely and utterly fine. Um, so that's good. So let's put the grass layer on. So we're going to do that now. Uh, we don't need to worry about the sand because that's part of the global operation, the, the beginning operation even. Uh, so if we create another custom material, we're going to call this uh, grass or dr dry grass. Well, it's not really dry grass, is it? Um, coast grass because coastal grass is not going to be as lush. Whoops, done that again. Let's change it to green, and we'll do it as a, like a weird kind of like that type of green. Um, complex, obviously, and we're going to do noise. We're going to do blobs. We're going to do blobs. But have 50 on blobs. Um, I'm just choosing things at random, by the way. And that type of dirt gravel is not going to be 4,000. Instead, it's going to be dirt slab, dirt bones, dirt slab, dirt gravel. Four, eight, seven. All right, four, eight, seven, and I need to remember to put that in game this time. Yep, because I'm an idiot. There we go, four, eight, seven, and we'll have that as a lower percentage. Not, not that much though. Maybe, maybe, yeah. If we do eighty, yeah, we'll do twenty percent. There we go. That'll do. Um, do that. I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna click on the paintbrush this time. Okay. We've already got grass bits like sticking through naturally okay so we're going to do only on terrain grass and then we can spray paint it and this should give us it looks a bit weird I'm, i actually think that color's wrong <laughs> but this should give us an idea of what's going on all right there we go Just give us a nice nice thing here there we go all right so with that, obviously this bit needs work on it, kind of like what we've done over here. Um, actually, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do a global operation to do these two again because, well, there's two different ways we can do that actually, isn't there? Yeah. Um, right. Let's first do. Yeah, we'll do. We won't do it as global. Well, we could. Yeah, we'd do it as global operations. I think global operation. Um, First things first, reset the terrain type to default, and I'm going to wipe out what I've done. Um, this is the thing, when you're doing lots of testing, write down goddamn everything, because you will you'll mess up at some point. Um, also, save regularly. I know I haven't saved a single time during this video. Yeah, not so good. Um, right. God, that's taken ages. It's because my map's so massive. That's fine. That's normal. Right. But yeah, 
start start saving up this. The the grass, the coastal grass. To be honest, I can use that again. The the gravel as well. I can use that again. So I'm going to call these coastal grass, and we've got gravel, gravel mix, I guess. Um, and the Mediterranean cliffs are more like more like white cliffs or light. Let's go with light cliffs. That's better. Right. So first things first, we've got our uh, this material here so what we'll do is we'll do a global operation on that global operation on doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, what we've got gravel mix so that's out or above 30 above 30 degrees and we're going to fill with terrain type that's gravel that's two different types of gravel there's now our, my, like my gravel and the other gravel so there we go gravel and then we've got a 50 and 31, and that'll be fine. So that'll be the next one. You start laying them up. It's really good if you're just building one map with a couple different train types. This really works. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have actually coloured it. Let's cancel that. Yeah, I'm going to cancel that operation because that would do it around the entire map, which we probably don't want unless we... Uh, it just wouldn't make any sense, right? So only, like, not only on grass... Um, at or above uh, 30 degrees. Uh, not 30, yep, 30 degrees, yep, 30. And we're going to have gravel, spray brush, and just go crazy for it. There we go. Just wipe out, we'll wipe this entire area clean like that. Actually, going to do it with a pretty harsh brush and wipe the intensity off. Because I'm going to be wiping this out later on anyway. So there we go, got that one. Now we've got the white one. At or above, what is it, 31 and 50 degrees. Come on, white. Wipe that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have this grass, which is only on grass. And I guess that's all we need to do, really, isn't it? And now we'll just do an export. So here we go. Let's export. Have a look at this. Yep, that's fine. I don't think I've got it open. That's good. Right, have a look at this. Cool, that's done. So let's have a look. Again, jump off. Oh, God, that's horrible. That is so horrible. That's gone horrifically wrong. <laughs> but we had to try it, didn't we? It's so much of that dirt gravel. It looks hideous. It does not work at all. This is still horrible. What? I've got to, I'm going to have to, like, fix this. I'll show you guys how to fix this absolute monster. Right, we're going to do that right now because that is just... You, you start from scratch. <laughs> this is what you do. So if we go for raising lower, right. I'm going to go down to about 27. Yeah, let's go down to that. So out above 27. I'm going to fix this thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a pretty soft brush, actually. I'm just going to lower it. So we're going to right click until we like really rip it out. Go like that. And now we're going to replace it again. Out above that, out or below that. And grab a nice custom brush like this one. Uh, rebuild that in there like that. And again, we're going to have to redo some little bits and bolts. We needed to anyway to, to kind of fix this grass because that grass just looks terrible. It just doesn't work um, <laughs> at all. This is, again, why I said test, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I think 5% might be just about enough. Um, and, and even this needs to be at, like, 25 or something. Um, what else looks quite good? Right, does the cliff part of it look better? With that 50 thing. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that blob, doing it with the blobs like that actually looks better because you do still get like bits like this that looks really cool. So I'm happy with that. Um, ooh, I'm not so happy with this though. That's weird. It's quite a lot of really weird straight bits. I think it's something to do with that brush that I've used. Um, I'm not so keen on that brush then. So that one, that brush that, what was it? The. I think that's the mountain range one, number three. It doesn't quite work as far as I'm, you know, concerned. Right, so anyway, this one, out or above 30 degrees. I'm getting used to this now. Oh, and out or above, what was it, 30? Spray can, oops, done it wrong. That one, above that. Colour that all in. There you go, colour it all in, colour it all in. There you go, that, do that, out or above 50. Uh, 31, 
Alright, let's colour this. Look, that's okay. Right, let's re... Let's just jump out of this map. Retry that and see if we fix that. And you can kind of see why World Painter maps now take so long. Um, it's mainly, part of it's because I'm a bit rusty. The, the more used to it you get, the, the better you get. And if you get some good brushes, you get some really good brushes. Right, so let's have a look at that. And then we've got one more thing after this. As crazy as it sounds, we've got one more thing. Uh, I'm not going to do any underwater stuff in this episode. Right, that's still not worked. Um, did I actually change that? Let's have a look. Did it say 5% of that one? Yes, that's not quite worked, has it? So I think you... Oh, we do need to redo something. That's weird, though, isn't it? It just doesn't look right. Uh, anyway, we'll leave that for now. What we're looking at is that, that horrible cliff that we had over here. So this is now kind of mellowed out. We've got a lot of gravel around here now. Uh, a bit too much. It's a bit too flat for my liking. I like it to stick out a bit more. It's because there's a straight line. So I don't like that straight line. Oh, yeah, I can see it on the thing now, can't I? Whoa. Right, so raise it up. Uh, out above 30. And out below that. So we'll go for terraced mountain type thing. That's just gone wrong there. It's going to make a horrible flat bit, isn't it? Oh. God damn it. I'll try the smooth brush as well. Smooth. Smooth out that bit there. And raise it up again. Yeah, we're just going to do some weird stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> to try and help it. There we go, that's what we'll get there. Don't know what's going on with this yellow thing. Um, I think we might need to repaint it, maybe? Spray paint yellow. Uh, doesn't matter about that. Only on its own custom layer. Well, it, should, it should just refresh it, really. Just save that. Close that. So that bit's horrible. That bit's really horrible as well, so hopefully this is stuck it out a bit more. What over, this over here looks good, though. Quite like this bit. This bit looks really cool, actually. Um, it's still a bit straight like here, where this mountain just juts out. But this bit here is really cool. We've got bits of grass sticking in. And that's where that's where this dirt gravel mixes in perfectly, really, doesn't it? It just makes it look just a little bit, you know, quite cool. And then over here, obviously, we've got all the other stuff over there. So that's fine. Right. Let's export. Or well, before we do that, actually, we'll get onto another layer. So, what other layers have we got? There is like a plant layer type thing. Uh, da, 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 resources, read only. If we do an, a custom plant layer, I haven't actually used this function, but uh, I have. I, I, I used a different way of doing it uh, ages ago. Now, we're going to have a look at those pictures again and see what there is. There's pretty much just like bushes, some flowers with white things, um, and that's it. There's, there's not really much else. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go with some ferns. We're going to do like, I don't know, 5% ferns. Um, like 1% tall grass type stuff. Whoa, I didn't know it did that. That is incredible. Cool. That's really cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 1% dead shrub. Yeah, we'll have some of that. We're also going to have really rare blue orchids. Uh, just normal grass as well. Nice normal grass. Saplings, we don't need that. We don't need any sort of um, beetroot and stuff like that. Doesn't doesn't make any sense. Oxide Daisy, uh, no, but we are going to have some Azure Bluettes, so we're going to have 5% of those. I'm actually going to go for, no, I still want that as that. Uh, where's normal grass layer? Tall grass, oh, double tall grass, that's why I wanted it as one. Right, there we go, that's why I wanted it as one, I wanted this as 15. There we go. We leave that as that, so that'll give us, what's this? Looks so like I've got some red flowers in there. Hmm, it's weird, isn't it? Might actually take out the blue one. It does look like we've got some red flowers in there. Is it because of the dead bushes? No. Where's the red flowers and poppies? There's no poppies in this. Doesn't matter. Um, so that's that. That's, it's literally just scrub, isn't it? It's, there's nothing else on it. Uh, so there we go. Right, let's just do 25%. That's good. So I'll do that. Now, I've never done this before. Only on grass, though. The plant layer, and we will spray it with pretty crazy. Is that working? I don't think that's working. So do it. How do we do this then? Not just. 
I don't know. I don't know how... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Not only on grass, because we've done a custom layer. Only on terrain custom coastal thing. There we go. There we go. Right. Too long of an episode. Right. We're going to try this out anyway. Like that. So hopefully that has got only 25% when we paste it all in. No. Preview pattern. How do we... How do we turn it down? Can we get it down to that? Do okay. Or is that only with the preview pattern? 25%. Okay, so I think no matter what, that that is going to be like that. So what we'll do is we'll then, with the spray thing, we're going to grab uh, some of these, one of these noise things. And we're just going to right click randomly. And just cut it right down. So that it's just like in these weird areas like that. Okay, and now we're going to export. I'm going to see how this looks. I've, I've never used this tool again, so... Um, We'll see what this uh, custom plant layer thing uh, actually looks like. It should be quite cool. Um, to be honest, it, it looks pretty good as a as a tool to, to kind of use. So, let's see how we actually use that. So, let's have a look. The thing is, this, this coastal thing can be used for quite a lot. That, to me, doesn't look too bad, actually. Uh, this, this horrible... So why is it so... Why has it done that? I don't know. That looks quite good. This looks a lot better. That looks horrible because I haven't painted it. Um, <laughs> so that's why we have to keep on painting things as we go along and improve. And that's why I wouldn't get too attached to it. And if you write down the stuff, it works. But there we go. That looks good. I like how there's just random little bits of flowers. So it's just like, you know, little coastal weird flowers and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, this is too much. But if you just had it on uh, the coasts... You know, you you did like a, say your coast only went up to you know as a as a maximum went up to forty eight you know and the rest of it down there to the water level is, is like coastline. You could then put these in, but then again you probably wouldn't want them here because you'd probably want to make this more of a beach and and stuff like that. So uh, I think it looks kind of cool though. So if we go back onto that, got that there. That looks, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, just don't think it needs to be up here. I think it needs to be more on the coastland. But then again, you can again do a global operation, or well, most likely can. Uh, not remove layer, fill with layer, so like plants, and then you could do that on, and you could do it above, you know, your water level, which might be 30, and you could do it below that top level, which could be 48, um, and you could feather that as well. I think that'll probably make it solid, which is kind of annoying. I don't know if we can put any air in. Uh, oops, cancel that. <laughs> Let's have a look. If we edit this, can we? There should be a way where you can put air in. Various chores, plant, no crops and stuff. Hmm, it's a shame. I can't figure that out. I will have a play around with it anyway, uh, and see what we can come up with for that. But um, yeah, with the cliffs, you know, if you want to keep on building up, just um, we'll keep on building up. So say if you got so like here, we might have gone up to this level, and then we want to build like more on top of that. You know, feel free to then grab your race again. Raise terrain, and this time uh, you might want to go up just so you got at or above, I don't know, 48. So it only affects stuff that's above 48 blocks, which means so if you try to paste it here, you can't do anything, right? Um, there you go. So I've just got it at above 48, and we might want to go up to like, I don't know, 50. I've got that closed. I've got like 55 or something. Uh, but this time I want to do more of this type of thing, maybe. I just want to make these like really kind of angry things here. So that's already created. Now that that that's the problem there that you get when you do stuff like this. Um, there we go. If we get something like that and then we do again we go up a couple more. I'll just do something like that or this. Now that's going to create a complete cliff along this bit. So remove that and just go into this and stuff. I'll try that and I bet you that's going to look horrible and we might need to smooth this out. There you go. Smooth. Alright. So if we then had a look at this, it might look um, quite cool, or it might not look cool. Uh, it's, it's difficult to tell until you actually do it, really. There we go. We've got this. I'm I'm just going up up to like 60 now. So I have some like cliffy bits here, like that. And then again, you can go through your custom layers, do all that stuff again. So what was it above 30, above 30 degrees? degrees. Um, click that spray can. I forgot about that. I keep on doing this. It's really annoying. Uh, and then we just paint this with a big square type thing. So there you go. There's loads 
That seems way heavier than that. Oh, only on coast grass. No, we don't want that. So I want to do that. That's because that's not worked, has it? No, it hasn't. Let me just reset this all. So if you right click again to <laughs> take it all back. Oh, God, that was horrible. Right, okay, there we go. There. Above 30 degrees now. There we go, so we get this. And we'll just have a look at what this looks like. Just doing it really quick. Once you've got your base coastline, usually it's a lot easier. Because uh, obviously this looks crap, um, but this might look really cool. So we go above that. We then get above 50 degrees. Now we're above 31. Get our white cliffs. There we go. So that's there. Back that one up. Really harsh thing. And then go like that. And then we'll do this one only on grass. Where is it? Grass, 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 grass. Uh, layer. Terrain. Oh, no, sorry. Grass. And um, doesn't matter where it is. Right. There we go. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to export it one last time, just so I can show you guys kind of what you can... Once you've got that coast done, it's fine. Um, you do need to do your coast pretty... As, as kind of like a first thing. God, this video is really long. I think it's well over an hour, but to be honest, it's quite a good video. Um, I think it would be anyway. Uh, obviously, we've got quite a lot to do. <laughs> On my entire map, I've got so much to do. But at the same time, as I'm going through this stuff, I'm kind of like spending a lot of time to to look at terrains and to build them a bit better. Here we go. Right, so that grass, for some reason, that has not worked. Why has that grass... Why is that grass so horrible? Scale in percent. Occurrence in percent. That might be why. So scale has got something else then. Let me just try this, right? Yeah, that's that's what it is. That's the actual occurrence. Oh, God, that's annoying. Okay, so here we go. We learned another, another thing. Let me just come off this. Uh, which means that also, God, that's really annoying, isn't it? Oh, it keeps on trying to do stuff. There we go. That's all we need. No. Oh. Does it have to be a thousand then? So nine fifty. Nine fifty. Yeah, that that works. Right. Okay. So use that. Um, same with the gravel then. Uh, if we've got hundred, hundred, and then ten, and I want to have that as hundred. Uh, what was that before? It can't be that, can it? Right, so if we're having these... Right, let's do 400. 400. God damn it. It's really annoying. Why, why does it not... It does not want at all. <laughs> it wants to equal 1,000 so badly. God damn, that's crazy. Right, 75, right. To be honest, I'm quite happy with this mix. But um, let's go for 750, which means that'll be 250. Okay, that looks horrible. Wow. As far as blobs go, that looks really bad. Right, let's try 50 or 60 or something. I don't know. Or just noise. Uh, no, I kind of want blobs. Right, try that again. This is the last time, honestly, guys. Absolute last time. We're going to have a look at it and we're going to see if it's good. And then you guys can tell me if this was a good tutorial or not. Um, but then again, I have tried to go over a hell of a lot to, you know, cliffs, different layers, custom layers, using mod layers, um, using the plant layer, which I've never used before. I literally just tried it out. That's, that's a good thing about World Painter, to be honest. It's brilliant for just, you can try out whatever you want. Um, so good for that. Right, here we go. So what we've got now, here we go. We've got some cliffs, and then we've got some mountainy bits over there. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I kind of want to have the time a bit better. So time set, what, 6,000? That's better, that's better. That's more, that's more Mediterranean-y type thing. So that's what we got there. So the grass is a lot better. Then you've got occasional bits of this dirty stuff. So that's what that looks like. So we've got like this nice little place here. Um, you could, of course, smooth that out as well, and, and all that kind of stuff, and maybe smooth out the edges. This looks really cool. This right here worked brilliantly, where you've got these, like, rock layers in here, and it kind of, like, slides down, and then you've just got this cliff and, and things like that. Uh, and we obviously fixed that bit as well, so I'm really happy with that. Um, anyway, guys, that's that's it. I know that that has been a very long, very, very long video. Um, we have got some horrible square bits as well, so there's, there's more to do. Um... But I think it's kind of worked to get a pretty good, uh, kind of like, Mediterranean-ish 
type cliffs. Uh, it's never going to be perfect. But um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. I've got so much to do because I'm planning on having most of this coast around here. Going to it all the way around here. <laughs> it's going to be this kind of like quite dry and, and around here probably as well a little bit. And then it's going to meld in. So I think this entire, entire area from this bit all the way down to this bit at least it's going to be this kind of like Mediterranean type coast. Um, so I'm going to keep on continuing doing that. Obviously I've done a tiny bit. If you have a look at my entire project and how much time we've put on it, uh, <laughs> we've not gone very far. But once you've got those brushes done, uh, you can just sweep across it and uh, it just makes a lot more sense. And, and, you know, we've got so much more other stuff that we can start doing. You know, we've got swamps to do. Uh, mountain ranges in general, we've got forests that we can do, uh, deserts and like d deserts and stuff like that, uh, forests, mountains, caves, the Nordic stuff, all of the ice stuff is going to be very, very interesting, including doing like icy coasts. Uh, it's something I want to get to on onto because I want to have kind of like a southern coast around here, which might just end up going around to about here. Uh, that will that will kind of continue on around. Well, this will be more desert coast, but it will continue to here for for at least. A little bit for this this kind of uh, coast. Um, we'll definitely have some other stuff as well. So, yeah. Keep tuned, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been informative. I've tried to go into as much detail as possible. So much so that, uh, yeah, I've gone mad. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.